everybody. You're on the channel Nathalie's World and I am Nathalie. And today I've prepared a little bit different video from the ones I usually do, not a traveling one, but uh, the video which will be important to you as a vlogger. So my video today is about popular devices for vloggers and vlogging. And today I've prepared some of the most famous um, pickups of 2018. Today we are going to unpack this baby. Osmo Mobile 2, which is very popular all around the internet right now. And millions of vloggers watching these videos every day. If you want to do perfect vlogging videos, stay in this channel and watch it until the end. Let's go. for you because I have totally new gadgets that I got just recently and I want to unbox some of them to show you what's inside and give you some of the most important information about every gadget. So these gadgets are commonly used nowadays for many vlogging uh, videos and uh, beloved by many uh, famous vloggers as I've told you already. And uh, uh, the first gadget today is for sure Osmo Mobile 2. Osmo Mobile 2 is a gimbal stabilizer. So basically it helps you to stabilize your video while shooting it. So when you move and you want to have your background and the whole picture to be stabilized and go smoothly, uh, you need to use this gimbal stabilizer. And it produces great videos uh, such as video lapse, time lapsing, and just basically it makes your videos look professional. And I will also give you the some of the difference between Osmo Mobile One, which is also a very great gadget, and I will give you some of the differences between these two so you can for yourself decide which one you want to have, Mobile 2 or Mobile 1. Ta-da! The most, the most intriguing moment when I'm unboxing this nice gadget, Osmo Mobile 2. Let's have a look. So, um, for everybody to know that you, it must have a serial number, if it's official, it must really have a serial number and a registered number. Now I will show you the things inside the box. And the first thing um, that you have when you open the box is the Osmo Mobile Quick Start Guide. It shows you details of how to use your Osmo Mobile in many different languages. And also it has disclaimer and safety guidelines for Osmo Mobile 2. The box itself looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> looks like this. I feel like I'm opening the, you know, the box of a gun or something. So it's really like my gun, my gadget for shooting great videos. So here is the gadget itself. This is how the gadget looks like um, and here is the charger so you can see a little bit like this. Now it's not connected to my phone so it looks a little bit <laughs> not really, not really um, adjusted, it's kind of flexible. So the filling in the hand is um, more like uh, rough. I prefer the feeling of uh, Osmo Mobile One. It has more uh, hand-friendly covering surface, I would say. It's um, more like um, le leather, uh, something or rubber. Here is just more plasticky surface, but it's okay. Anyway, it's really light, so you don't have to uh, be afraid. You don't have to be afraid that your 
your arm it will be tired after some hours of shooting it's really light in, in my new videos you will see that I'm using this Osmo and it, wor it works really nice when you watch my videos my new videos where I'm using my Osmo mobile too they look like I am in a computer game you walk you do this moves and so bad when you walk uh, you feel you see your steps but the things that surroundings behind you are not moving they are going so smoothly um, so you can compare my old with old videos where I haven't been using Osmo and the new videos with Osmo I will show you uh, the difference in this video just stay in this channel for now keep watching and you will see the great difference so as you can see right now my Osmo mobile to stabilizer is not flexy at all right now it's kind of sturdy and you see I can move my my camera around it's going to follow and it's just like that just the first thing I want to tell you from the manual guide from the uh, user's manual uh, first thing very important thing is that you never turn on your Osmo when your telephone when your mobile is not mounted on it Okay, so I wanted to just a little bit explain you about the buttons and scrollers in, in our in our favorite DJI Osmo Mobile 2 gimbal stabilizer, the best stabilizer on of 2018. So um, you see all these buttons right now are on the back on the front panels and they are in front in comparison with Osmo Mobile 1, the original version. Um, so you have this uh, little scroller, you can do up, down and you see what's going on. So you can like kind of control like this and you can move it left or right. Then you can um, start recording you can see this red little button it's for recording and making pictures as well this one is for sure starting up your gimbal and stopping up uh, if you move this scroller you can see your picture closer or far further also the difference between Osmo Mobile 2 and Osmo Mobile 1 is that here there is a magic port where you can charge your mobile while shooting and I personally think it's really useful because you can um, charge it from here directly um, after some movies uh, which I was shooting with my gimbal I noticed that my camera is discharging very fast it's most of maximum two hours battery life and I'm not really satisfied with my uh, camera with that but if I have a charger I can just charge it from from my Osmo and I can continue shooting and uh, Osmo helps to charge my telephone quite fast Osmo's battery life Osmo's battery life is around 15 hours and uh, it's more than enough to charge your phone like half for example but at the same time if you charge it and use it as a battery bank uh, your mm, gimbal battery life is dropping for sure so um, this feature of the new Osmo is really appealing uh, to my personal opinion um, also I really like this port to charge your gimbal it's a normal uh, smartphone charger you, you just need a normal smartphone charger you don't need a you know a 3.5 uh, hijack like you used to um, in the original uh, Osmo Mobile 1 version so if, for example it's really sometimes not, not really easy to find and with this gimbal you can just use any smartphone charger and it works perfectly uh, well to charge this gimbal fully I just needed two hours and um, now it's fully charged and I'm going to show you how it works so you have to make sure that your uh, Bluetooth is on to 
to connect to your Osmo Mobile 2. So we go to DJI Go Osmo Mobile app. You will have to install this app to your telephone. And now you see there is the button, I'm showing you like this. There is a button to connect to your device. So voila, I'm going to my device and it's how it's going on. To start recording, I will show you this way. I just need to click this button in here and it's recording now. Um, I will show you that I can make it like this and like that. So you see that it's um, for closer look, for a closer look. And I can also move my panorama this way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just uh, shooting the wall now. If I want to shoot myself, that's an interesting point. I am here. I need to just uh, press this button for recording. And it's recorded now, the video. If I want to use the face tracking mod, I need to activate my face tracking mod. So I press here and it's green and voila, it's activated for my face. And now if I, I am moving my face, it will follow my face. You see that? It's, personally, I think it's really nice when you go and record on the street like that. And then I can start recording video, so you see that I'm recording my video, this is my camera <laughs> and it's tracking my face like that. Um, I will just show you a few more things about this gimbal, so you can see here, I hope. Um, here you will see this uh, button, you can press here and you can see all your libraries and here you can see if your Bluetooth is activated, um, like that. I can disactivate or cancel now, I don't need to disactivate it. Um, here you can see there are different um, modes. Um, uh, there are different modes. Time-lapse, hyper-lapse, um, mono-lapse and uh, standard. So like four of them you can choose between. Um, also, you can see the battery life of your gimbal. Now it's 100%. And here you can see um, battery life of my phone. Now it's 42%, so it's discharging quite fast um, when using uh, when using your gimbal. Also, here you can see the settings where you can um, check your camera, for example, your Check your resolution of your camera, your zoom, if you, if you want to zoom. Um, you can see like general settings of your device. So basically these are your settings of your device. So if you click this button, you have all of the features of your future video. Here you will see video resolution and beautify effects even if you want to use. That's really nice for the girls who want to shoot some makeup videos, maybe makeup tutorials. Um, you will also see the grid, white balance, everything what you need to produce a high quality video. These two babes are very nice as well. I love them a lot and they go together with Osmo Mobile 2. Uh, the first one is a tripod, the second one is an extension rod. So what is a tripod? Tripod is basically a stand for your um, gimbal stabilizer. So if you want to shoot somewhere on the surface, you want to put your gimbal on the ground and you found a nice spot, you just want to put it on the ground and you need something to hold it. So this tripod has this function. So it has like, because it from the name, it derives from the name, it has like three stands, so three legs basically, and you put your gimbal on it. So this way you can shoot your videos without using your hands and it's really convenient sometimes when you just want to show the nice background around you and you just want to move freely and don't be dependent on your on having the gimbal in your hand. Uh, the next stop is an extension road uh, which is um, basically a selfie stick more or less. So, um, if you want to show the bigger space behind your back, you want to show the bigger picture, uh, 
let's say it's really beautiful around you and you are limited there with uh, only the lens of your hand like this it's not good you're gonna you want to show it better this is the time where extension breaks so it comes into game so you just basically lengthen your gimbal stabilizer and use it as a selfie stick so you can show this way all the things around you and it makes a great view for you and your followers to see all right now it's time to unbox this extension rod and tripod so if you look and reach and look at the original uh, gears like this ones you will find serial number which is uh, shows that this gadget is real and you can trust it and first I'm unboxing this extension road the first thing when you unbox you have this um, ooh, Chinese or Japanese I guess um, explanation of how to use this um, extension road how it works how you can uh, mantle it and so and this disclaimer and warning leaflet I suggest you to read it after but now I'm not going to waste your time for this yay so I'm unboxing it yeah got it great so, and what I really love already I have no idea about this it has this little sweet stuff, I suppose you can attach it to your camera or just put it on your sh uh, shoulder, I don't know, I, I guess it's a really convenient little pad is made for uh, uh, carrying this um, rod stick on the shoulder. This is the extension rod and I really like the material, uh, the surface uh, which, which is quite soft and really goes smoothly in your hand and uh, the feeling of touching it is quite pleasant um, this is how you can make it longer you can extend it this way I suppose this is maximum and this little trigger makes you fix it so I show you like this so it was this position I put this in this position yeah and then it's impossible just to put it put it back so this way you have your extension road ready to go to show you to show this as a great tool for your future videos so let's unbox it and we'll see what's inside All the time it goes with uh, instructions and disclaimer and warning when you are maintaining your own gadget and just uh, have a quick look at it to make sure that it works well. So now for the gear itself, it looks this way, it has a metallic surface and a nice, um, I'd say silver with a purple metallic um, colorage I can show you this way <laughs> it goes quite smoothly in every direction it's quite open it's not heavy and um, quite small it gives you quite a nice stand tripod for example I show you also you can extend this way yeah. Here is your tripod, extend it, looks this way, like a little octopus. <laughs> and here you place your gimbal stabilizer, here you place it, and with this little button you can fix it. You can lock and unlock so it, it doesn't go anywhere and it's fixed dirty. And here is one more little trick. Do you remember my my extension rope that I was just showing previously? So we have extension rope here and we have this little tripod here. Uh, all original, all made specially for uh, DJY, uh, Osmo Mobile 1 and Osmo, Osmo Mobile 2. So I can actually make 
Inhale on. Stick and dry pot together. So look how great. I just made it like this and I fixed it. And now it stands nicely. So you see here you have a nice gadget already. Quite long, quite tall uh, for shooting. Uh, above the ground if you want to shoot uh, like the full if you want to shoot like the full um, size and you don't have enough uh, surface this is the great project for you and it's so easy to dismantle so it's a uh, multifunctional I would say so the next one everybody knows it for sure I already unpacked it I'm sorry I could not resist the temptation to try it on this is a joby gorilla magnetic tripod so that's how it looks like in real you can just see it and this is the package it says joby grip type 1 gp magnetic impulse so you see this little red uh, feet i would say a little red feet on three uh, legs of the joby gorilla these are magnetic so they can go as magnets to any metallic surface. Also, this um, Joby Gorilla tripod is really um, compact, so you can see it go. It can go like this. It goes easily into your pocket. So it's really little size, but at the same time, it's really functional. Maybe some of the uh, vloggers will not agree with me and they prefer bigger gadgets but I don't like this one because it's compact and it can you can put this on any surface if you find one for example you want to shoot uh, something nice in the cafe and you just put it like this on the table and you shoot basically this uh, Joby Gorilla uh, magnetic impulse tripod uh, functions is the same as any tripod you can like um, Flex these uh, legs in any direction, and you can attach it to any uh, like bend it over any surface, and I can even bend it over my finger right now. It has a Bluetooth transmitter, so when you are somewhere on a distance and you don't want to come to your phone and press the button to start recording, just use this little thing to press the button like this and it starts recording automatically. This one was my first ever review about gadgets and devices that I'm using for my filmmaking. I hope you find this video useful and informative. Maybe after watching this video you even want to buy your own Osmo Mobile too. So, if you want to watch more amazing videos about traveling and food reviews around the world, stay in this channel, Natalie's World. If you like this video, put a like on it, share this with your friends and subscribe for more amazing videos. Be sure to check my series about Thailand, China and Taiwan. And don't miss new upcoming series about travels in Thailand. See you in another story and bye bye!